Yes, the first question is by MS Condon, and the question is, um, what is the strategy for providing jobs to unemployed youth of Punjab, and what is going to be the strategy to uplift uh, the weaker sections or the underprivileged sections of Punjab? Um, my reply to you, sir, would be that we need to kickstart the economy, and if uh, a city like Chennai can generate one lakh jobs a year. Ek lakh naukri Madras shayar har saal pada karda hai. Te je Madras shayar ek lakh kar sakda hai. Ta Punjab jira hai, o bhi ek lakh kar sakda hai. And for that, for the first time, jo Sanja Morcha ya People's Party Punjab da jira common minimum program hai, o de which it is a promise given by uh, the, the joint uh, uh, committee that we will generate 100,000 jobs per year and in fact this will be the first time uh, just like you have in, in India you have a Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Scheme Mandrega and this will be the first time that any welfare scheme for, for, from any state or from, from the government of India uh, this will be named after the, the great Shaheed, Shaheed Azam Bhagat Singh, Shaheed Azam Bhagat Singh Rozgar Yojana. We have promised that we will generate 100,000 jobs. And these will be permanent jobs. These will be in the government as well as in the private sector. And we have actually given a very detailed, uh, uh, a very detailed proposal on how, where these jobs are going to be, whether they are school teachers, whether in the dairy sector, whether they are um, whether they are in the forestry sec sector, whether it is in the, the, the reverse osmosis plants which Punjab desperately needs. And we hope to actually better this performance. This is the minimum which we have thought of. Uh, at the moment, Punjab, which uh, in the organized sector, we have a total of 10 lakh jobs. So, generating 100,000 jobs is ambitious, but it is not unrealistic. We hope that Punjab's economy will grow at 10%. And how the economy has to be kick-started, well, that's, that's a, it's another question, which I'll answer another day. But it's, it's, a, real, it's a realistic, of, uh, realistic um, uh, attempt, which we are trying to make. Uh, and as far as uh, Mr. Kondil did a Fuda Swansi, he did a uh, well, we would not only continue with some of the schemes uh, which are already in existence, but for the first time, I think uh, health, education and housing, uh, th these are three very vital sectors where the, the government in, in, in these social sectors where, where the government of Punjab can play a very vital role. So, whether it's opening up of new schools, colleges, um, and also giving our young people skill sets, where they can be actually employable, this will be a priority sector. You know, Sanjay Morte is a common minimum program, which we have also uh, envisaged a plan where Homeless people in the job uh, will be given houses. You know, in the 21st uh, century, uh, people of Punjab not having a house or a roof on their head. A suddenly na kabale kabool or na kabale badast hai. Or isliye, ida ida scheme na na. Baba Sahib, Dr. Bhimrao Ambedkar, Awas Yojana. Pehli baar Dr. Bhimrao Ambedkar de naate yojana gari hai. Or her delivery, which is an underprivileged section, and an underprivileged meaning economically underprivileged. housing delivery scheme, like So, overall, I think it's the sincerity of your effort uh, which will make the difference. Schemes are not going to be able to do it, but it's not going to be able to do it. Look, uh, 
کامیابی کا پرماتما بندہ ہے پر نیت تے کوشش کے لیے وہ انسان دے ہاتھ لیے اور اسی نیت تے کوشش کے وچ کوئی کمی نہیں چلا انجشن نے کہا کہ when will this vip culture end in punjab if it if ever it will end in punjab jashan my promise to you is that vip culture will end within 30 minutes of the new government taking off oath of office in punjab i think it's a it's a relic uh, from the from from the british days duniya se badhiya qauma barbaad hoye جتھے دو قسم دے قانون ہوندے ہیں ایک کمزور واسطے قانون ایک تگڑے دا قانون اور اے جڑی لال بتی جپسی گن مین اسکاٹ کار اے اے جڑے جلوساں دی شکل دے وچ کسی پنجاب دے افسر پنجاب دے وزیر کسی دیکھنے ہو جویں کوئی مغلیہ شہزادے ہوندے جویں کوئی وائس روئے ہوندے وائس روئے بھی جڑا ہندوستان دا سی او اینے وی آئی پی کلچر چ نہیں سی جنے اسی اینڈ Punjab is actually the very epitome of that VIP culture. This is part of our common minimum program. We feel that in, in a free and fair society, it doesn't have to be done. Where the poor are not done, 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 the poor are not done. The world has been very bad, where there are two kinds of laws. قانون جڑا ہے قانون دی سرپرستی قانون دی بالا دستی ہونی چاہیے اور پیپلز پارٹی آف پنجاب ول بی دا فرسٹ پارٹی ان انڈیا ٹو انٹروڈیوس دس ایلیمنیشن آف وی آئی پی کلچر اینڈ آئی ایم شیور اف پنجاب ڈز اٹ دا ریسٹ آف کنٹری ول دا نیکسٹ اٹس اے میل اٹس ناٹ اے کوشچن اے سوال نی اے آلموسٹ اٹس کس دا خط آیا دیپک متل برنالا تو اور دیپک پوچھتے ہیں کہ پنجاب کے بیچ جی لان آڈر سچویشن ہے یہ بد تو بدتر ہو رہی ہے دیپک آئی شیئر یور کنسرن اینڈ ان فیکٹ دا ویری فرسٹ ریفارم جی پنجاب کے بیچ آئے گی ول بی پولیس ریفارم پنجاب پولیس جی ہے یہ پنجاب کی ترقی کے بیچ اس ویلے سب تو بڑا روڈ ہے اٹس بیکم دا بگیسٹ امپیڈیمنٹ ٹو دا پروگریس آف پنجاب The chain of command in the police force has actually broken down. If you have a lot of people who don't listen to the SP, they don't listen to the DGP. Bhi sunda. So the first thing is, A, remove total uh, political interference from the police. And that is the only way you will be able to get. So I am telling my fellow party men, and especially those party men, JDP MLA one day, that if you ever call up a police station, you should be prepared to come next day to my office with your resignation. And B, we need to professionalize the police in terms of training, in terms of their postings, uh, transfers, um, their promotions and all that. So, and as I said, law and order would be a pre, is, it's actually a prerequisite to the development of society. And I recently read a book Uh, by Neal Ferguson and the name of the book is The West vs. The Rest and, <clears throat> and one of the prerequisites you know he talks about how the European how come the European civilization actually became one of the best civilization in terms of development and how, how, how come there was the Chinese civilization, Turkish civilization Indian, Arab a key way that the English civilization 